sheet of clay is the, um, the theme of a series of works I have done uh, for this show with the same title. And it's about this dream of uh, Nebuchadnezzar in the Old Testament. He had this dream that there was this big statue. The head was out of gold. The breast, the arms were silver. The upper legs, uh, bronze. The lower legs going over into iron and clay feet. And he was wondering what that means. So he had the, a prophet, um, a Jewish prophet who was in, cap in captivity because the Jew Jews were, were in captivity uh, for a century in, in Babylon. And one of them uh, told him what, what that means, actually. He interpreted as, um, uh, in the book of Daniel, uh, that it is, uh, it represents actually a power, an imperium. An imperium is not strong when the feet are out of clay, so it will tumble. And he predicted that this, this um, imperium will, will tumble in, in different stages. I don't want to go into details, but of course it's a very powerful um, image. And I think it's a very also contemporary uh, image because it could be uh, looked at up an, uh, as as a symbol for our time as well, of course, or any any time. Um, I have taken it quite literally. You will see when you go then closer to the works. I have uh, used also a, a classical context in so, so far that I used mimetic elements, so re realistically put feet down uh, in, in covered in clay. I put my, my own feet in, in clay and um, photographed it and then transformed it into these, onto these panels. Um, I have also found in the Bible, of course, there are some other elements which are very similar. And that's why I've done a series of it. I have done one with uh, the reference to, uh, I think it was Lucas um, number so-and-so, I looked it up, Lucas 7 it was, uh, where um, there is the writing on the wall. That's the Old Testament, uh, sorry. Daniel, I mix it up. Uh, it is the da David 5.25 in the Old Testament where the writing on the wall appears and the writing on the wall is Mene Mene Tekel Ufarzin which means in Aramaic or it is in Aramaic, it means in English I have numbered, numbered, weighed and divided. And there was also a prophet, again was called Daniel, and he interpreted to Nebuchadnezzar um, what it means. It means also that your uh, imperium will tumble. Interesting that you have two different um, narratives aiming at the same contents of decaying, of, of tumbling of imperia. <laughs>